हेलो फ्रेंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द वन सर शॉर्ट लेक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन एंड रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ सो इट इज ए कंप्लीट फ्लॉलेस लेक्चर व्हिच इज कवर्ड इन ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी मिनट सो बी केयरफुल इट वुड सो नाउ वी आर नाउ स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन सो ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम एंड फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम सो फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम In male reproductive system, a pair of testes, accessory duct, and accessory glands are present. So here is the structure of uh, male reproductive system. So in male reproductive system, main sex organ is uh, testes. So a pair of uh, testes are present. So testes which present a sac-like structure called uh, scrotal sacs. So where the uh, the main reason. it to present in the uh, in scrotal sac is the temperature of scrotal sac is quite less about 2 to 3 degree centigrade it less so here is the more sweat gland present and cooling effect takes place and help in the spermatogenesis process so this is the structure and then a structure the outside ducts are present first duct is called va a uh, vas deferens and then vas deferens connect with the urethra through ejaculatory duct so this is the uh, uh, this is the structure and uh, along with the male reproductive system and ducts accessory glands are present the main accessory gland is seminal vesicles prostate and scopper gland and these glands secretes a viscous substance and it combined with the spermatozoa to form semen so semen is the spermatozoa along with fluids so this is the structure and this is the uh, external structure of testis and the now we come to the internal structure of testis so in testis it is covered by a tunica layer so tunica layer itself differentiate into three layer tunica ves uh, vaginalis tunica albuginea tunica vasculata and the inside the elongation start with the elongation of the tunica albuginea to form testicular lobule so there are 200 to 250 test testicular lobules uh, which contain and each lobules contain 1 to 3 spermato uh, seminiferous tubule and the wall so seminiferous tubule uh, which get was out and become a straight tubule called tubuli recti and open into all seminiferous open into call recta testis and emerges outside to vas efferentia and it is formed and and form the highly coiled structure along the one corner of the testis called epididymis which is different into caput corpus and corda epididymis and it lead and for further form a duct A straight duct called vas deferens, and then vas deferens connected to the ejaculatory ejaculatory duct, and and finally it lead to the urethra, and along with spermatozoa and sem uh, fluid to form semen. So this is the process of semen. So inside the seminiferous still spermatogenesis takes place. Spermatogenesis uh, where the spermatozoa form. So on the wall of the Uh, semi ferrous tubule many germ cells are divided mitotically to produce many cells or that is called ugonia so ugonia and each ugonia developed into primary spermatozoa then meiosis takes place to form secondary and if, and and sperm secondary and spermatid form and spermatid differentiated morphologically to produce spermatozoa and spermatozoa which is motile structure having tails tails tail and this is called spermatogenesis and release of the spermatozoa for seminiferous tubules is called spermiation and formation of uh, spermatozoa from spermid is called uh, semination ye is called uh, uh, spermiogenesis and release of the sperm through the genitalia penis is called semination so this is the process on spermatogenesis okay now we come to the female reproductive system so female reproductive system, main part ovary here is the ovary and genital system so genital system contain fallopian tube uterus cervix and external genitalia called which contain uh, labia majora labia minora and inside the opening uh, urethral and vaginal opening at the anterior region of 
labia minora called clitoris and the posterior region of labia minora merged to form forchette and forchette to anus called perineum and above the clitoris called mons pubis. So, this is the external genitalia part of the female reproductive system and in female reproductive system so main ovary ovary and then the accessory ducts are the main accessory duct is fallopian tube which is differentiated into uh, fimbri, infundibulum, ampulla and uh, isthmus. So, isthmus part connect to the uterus and, um, uh, uh, and ampulla part which is near to the uh, ovary and which form a finger like ejection which help in the receive the egg during ovulation from the ovary. So, this is the structure and the net part is the uterus, uterus contain fundus, body and cervix region or uh, it is three layer epimy epimetrium, myometrium, endometrium, inner layer. So, here is the endometrium layer. So, okay. so, now we come to the ovary. So, ovary is the female sex organ inside the ovary, oogenesis take place and on the wall of the inner wall produce many germ cell called ugonia where and development of the follicle takes place and follicle produce the primary follicles and primary follicles contain primary oocyte and primary oocyte differs into secondary oocytes and secondary oocytes oocyte and secondary tertiary follicle which inside the tertiary follicles uh, secondary oocyte and secondary oocyte release release during the ovulation and then the fertilization takes place so fertilization initiation of fertilization to form ovum and then finally fusion of the nucleus female nucleus to produce zygote. So, this is the process of so so oogenesis start in puberty condition at the time of uh, 20 week it produce many millions of the follicles at the time of birth 2 millions of follicles and birth to puberty 60 to 70 millions follicles and ultimately 60 to 70 thousand molecules uh, follicles to produce 420 to 430 secondary oocyte or egg develop mature. So, now with the fusion of the two opposite gamete. So, for this is called fertilization. So, fertilization to produce zygote it is a deployed structure and before that fertilization mechanism occur where the uh, female gametes male gametes meet to the female gametes or egg egg egg. So, this is the process where the first process is called fertilizing and anti fertilizer reaction second reaction occurs on the membrane is called the sperm lysine and penetrate the uh, sperm and come into the and then the formation of the fertilization membrane by the uh, cortical formation of dissolution of cortical granules and then the zygote and division start in the zygote through the cleavage and form the blastula and then a space is present called blastocyst and then blastocyst two layer outer layer trophoblast inner layer cell mass say inner cell mass develop into embryo and trophoblast form the uh, extra embryonic membrane and high and high, high and inner cell mass differentiate two layer epiblast and hypoblast epiblast different ectoderm hypoblast endoderm and trophoblast which form the mesoderm layer and which form chorion and elantois and then the embryo develop to the fetus to produce the all primitive organ and then the organization take place to form young ones and then the after completion of the gestation period or 9 month period in 9 month in human that process called uh, parturition where the delivery the boy, uh, baby and this process uh, start through the fetal eject reflex this reflex under the combination of fetus as well as placenta and the first process is uh, where the dilation of the pubis symphophic and serve dilation of as well as dilation of uh, cervix and then expulsion start and finally the cut in the placenta. After parturition, lactation start under the influence of prolactin as well as exotic oxytocin. So, this is all about related to the male female reproductive system, fertilization, development, embryonic development and then the reproductive Process, reproductive health. It is in reproductive health, well being of the reproductive system, birth control, temporary. So, there are natural birth control, safe period, withdrawal period, lactation, amenorrhea, barrier, we use the condom, male, female condom, cervical wall, vaginal wall. So, these are the uh, chemical method where the few chemical like boric acid, citric acid, zinc are used, hormonal method, 
used to prevent the birth iod is the most common method in india copper t copper saver multi load progestart lng which prevent the implantation process contraceptive both mini pills and contracept uh, combined pills mini pills only taken weekly only contains prosthetic synthetic progestone synthetic and combined pill both estrogens another pill is emergency pill next is infertility male and female is called so remove the infertility condition test to be baby where the fertilization or few cells growth take place outside or test uh, in test tube and then it re implant to the mother womb gift jago jagot in intrafallopian transfer gamete intrafallopian transfer so they only gamete one transfer to the to the fallopian tube intracytoplasmic there is the directs uh, through uh, transfer of the uh, sperm into the egg cytoplasm through use of micro needles testicles extraction of the test is the uh, spermatozoa from the testicle and amniocentesis the technique where the amniotic fluid withdraw and goes for the bio uh, um, genetic and biochemical analysis to check the amniotic of the fetus and chronic villi sample is the quite easier and simple method which is goes through the uh, vaginal uh, opening and reach to the chronic villi and few withdraw the few sample of the chronic villi and detect bio and genetic analysis so this is all about related to the reproductive health as well as whole human reproductive system male and female so this is very quite important topic would we ask about 6 to 7 questions in neat examination definitely okay thank you mm -hmm.